Okay. Hello everyone, it is uh, the weekend here in Montana and I'm enjoying some coffee along at this coffee house uh, tying some flies. But no, they're just relaxing with some jazz music and uh, tying up a few bugs here. And uh, today I'm focusing on PMDs and uh, I'm going to tie a Comparadon with some CDC for you and then uh, chat about some of the flies that, that I like to use here in Montana. We're going to be tying a uh, PMD Comparadon today and uh, going to tie it in a size 18 TMCO 100. So we're going to get that in the vise. And uh, this is a, a fly that I feel like uh, when the fish get really selective, if they don't eat this fly, you probably are not getting a good drift or they are not eating on top. If they're eating on top and you get a good drift, they're usually going to take this fly. A um, little bit harder to float sometimes because uh, it is CDC and after it gets a few fish it can be a little bit tough, but uh, great fly to have inside of your... Um, your box. Anyway, I, what I typically do is I grab some uh, whiting hackle for the tail and uh, what I do is I take the, sometimes the, the ends aren't really lined up so I just push them with my thumb. Anyway, that's uh, what I like to do. And uh, using Vivas uh, 16 knot, which um, finishes really nice for smaller flies it's actually pretty strong even though it's a 16 knot surprises me I do break it once in a while but um, having the uh, the smaller heads actually uh, is worthwhile for me so we want a tail that's approximately the length of the shank and uh, what I do is uh, I just adjust it till you till you get it right we'll run it down the top there and uh, sometimes if it's uh, too close to the head there I'll just get rid of that other times I'll just tie it down anyway in that case I just tie it down and uh, and I usually throw a a wrap right underneath kind of spay those those uh, tails up a little bit and out and uh, and then we're gonna put a by it which is uh, you know basically just a light olive color and what I do is I throw the concave side Kind of wrapping around the hook um, on top and so that when I wrap it you'll see it gives you that nice segmented look so sometimes I won't even use hackle pliers if I can get away with it um, but getting it to roll the right way is the key so you want the the concave side going down and then you'll get that nice and this one actually has a, uh, a little break, so I'm going to take that one off and just replace it real quick. Actually, what I could do is uh, I keep it and I'll use some hackle pliers. I'll cut the so concave side down. There we go. I want to take one turn off that so I can I can roll it over. I'm going to advance my thread forward and hope that these will hold. There we go. Now we're getting there. Alright, now we're getting some segmentation and uh, just. Uh, that one down and boy was that tight didn't have a lot of room but it worked out nicely all right let's get rid of that extra piece and uh, we'll make sure it gets lashed that one's gonna be a there we go all right so with that done, we're going to go for 
our CDC puffs from Hairline. And what I usually use is uh, three puffs for a Comparadon. And some of the other flies I, I go lighter um, if I want them to sink a little bit more. But this one I want it to float, I want it to ride in the film. And, uh, and I'm looking for these when I stand up to be approximately the length of the shank of the hook. And uh, give it a few turns there. Trim it off as close as you can and then we're going to throw some dubbing behind it to cover up the, the tips and then in front of it to stand up that wing. And I'm just going to get rid of a few stragglers. All right. All right, and I keep this kind of thin, but uh, because you have to stand that post up, I'm going to do a pretty long noodle here. Alright, now we're going to roll it in front there, make sure we get a few good turns. I'll get one more behind it to finish it better. And then uh, a few more turns and we're about done. A couple whip finishes here and, uh, and it's that simple. This is uh, kind of a guide fly I'd say, one that you can tie up a bunch and not take a lot of time but it is uh, when you're on a tailwater in Montana and you're fishing the PMD hatch um, for the duns this one is really really super good so all right with that said um, I'm just gonna chat real quick about the flies that I like to use on a PMD hatch rivers like the Missouri River um, and uh, and tell you what my thoughts are and what I like to to do all right so uh, yeah so here's here's a bunch of flies this is uh, boy I'd say for dry flies this is what you would need if you were you know fishing on uh, on the Missouri and you wanted to um, you know catch the hatch uh, whether it's uh, the duns or the spinner falls at night um, I don't have rusty spinners in there, which um, is definitely something that you could you could use on a spinner fall. But I'll give you a quick tip: um, if you take one of these parachutes and uh, and use it, many of you can tie this in a rusty color. And uh, but there's a lot of um, spinners that do have that olive uh, color to them, and this fly is a lot easier to see at night. It's got the post and they will eat this for a spinner so a lot of people don't think that way they they throw the rusty spinner on there and it's flat winged and it's sitting down and uh it's very hard to see the fly take it if you want um and you're having and you want to have that uh i guess closer imitation throw this one on and put the rusty off the back end and see which one they eat and uh, but i'll tell you that um you know a lot of the tailwaters and uh rivers here in in montana the ruby the beaverhead the, um uh, bighorn you can take this fly and uh, and really do well i mean it's you could have that one fly um you know i showed you the i showed you the one with the cdc but um nine out of ten times this fly is going to work for you if you're having a hard time seeing the fly um or you want to throw a rusty spinner and something that you can see you know try the Try the bug with the uh, with the flashy posts. It's the same thing. It's a size 18, 16, 18 for your for your PMDs. Um, when the duns are hatching and you've got some fish that are that are not eating on top, um, what I find is you can throw this fly off the back end, and this is just a you know the same exact fly I just tied. Instead of putting three CDC puffs on there, just put one. Um, make the make your wing a little bit make your wing a little bit shorter and uh, and put a trailing shuck off the off the back end of it and uh, and you'll do great so yeah these are these are my uh, my dry fly picks for for PMDs um, in Montana it's my it's one of the most consistent hatches that you can find you know it's uh, once it gets going it goes for weeks and you can go out there uh, for me if I'm guiding in the in the daytime you know when I go back out at night um, I can catch the spinner fall and, and, and really enjoy it and uh, you know it's uh, whether you're fishing the day or, or the evening it's just a all day long hatch really really uh, fun to fish